Welcome to your Actors EU Tweets of the Week. Orban's dictatorship makes MEPs mad, summer holidays would make everyone glad, and resumed Brexit talks are going pretty bad. This week, your Active is asking you to support journalism. Journalism that covers the EU in a clear, unbiased way is critical to the future of the European Union and should not be behind a paywall. But to continue providing this content for free, UActive is asking you to consider making a contribution to support its responsible editorial work. And of course, this light-hearted relief, which I think we can all agree we need now more than ever. Visit youactive.com forward slash contribute if you want to help. On Thursday, MEPs held a debate after Hungary's Viktor Orban was given the right to rule by decree indefinitely. Since declaring dictatorship six weeks ago, Hungary has backed violence against women, kicked patients out of hospitals, attacked minorities and detained critics, said Andrew Strohlein from Human Rights Watch. Anna Julia Donath explained, in the past two days, police arrested two people for ironic or critical posts about the government on Facebook. Euronews' Shona Murray said it was a robust debate in the European Parliament, with many calling for a so-called Article 7 process. Other MEPs want the EU to block recovery funds to Hungary unless Orban reinstitutes democracy, and several criticised the EPP group, the Commission and the Council for standing idle. Orban's efforts to combat the virus are nothing more than efforts to combat opposition parties, journalists and civil society said MEP Birgit Sippel. Fighting authoritarianism is exhausting and frankly, we all need a break. The European Commission agrees, unveiling its recommendations for the summer entitled Europe Needs a Break. The Commission wants three things, free movement, sanitary protocols and protection of travellers. That last point proved controversial. Airlines are furious and flabbergasted that the Commission refuses to suspend the law on passenger rights, tweeted Mark Dursma. Commissioner Vestager explained why refunds are preferable to vouchers, saying that people who have lost their jobs and cannot afford to go on holiday could be forced to take a voucher they cannot use rather than getting their money back. But how the EU's passenger rights law will be enforced during the current crisis is murky. First, guilty parties were going to get a letter telling them to stick to EU law. Then it's all countries and a gentle reminder, while legal action against those that aren't enforcing the rules remains an option, explained Sam Morgan. Now that's what I call a mixed message, and I'm being kind here, added Oliver Grimm. Good luck getting your money back from Ryanair. Brian Maguire reckons flights will cost 99 cents, with a free mask priced at 325 euros one way. Finally this week, I have to admit that the Bruges Group summed it up pretty well. Brexit being obscured by another news story would once have been inconceivable. But much is still happening and the UK-EU trade talks resumed this week via video link. But, and how shall I put this, they are not going well. The EU side in particular is worried that the UK can effectively blame COVID-19 for everything. But they must decide whether or not to request an extension to the transition period before a decisive European Council summit in June. Surprisingly, the UK's Labour opposition leader, Keir Starmer, has not supported an extension. Nick O'Donnell said, I think he must know what a lot of people suspect. The talks are dead, Brexit is happening, there will be no deal, the EU has no time for Brexit and no patience left. I can't say I blame them. Well, I think you might be right, Nick. That's it for this week. We're on a well-earned break next week, but join me again in two weeks for all the latest from the Bustles Bubble Twitter sphere.